Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello, this is Matej Cerarts and this is the Lacronome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Your daily dose of geek news, gadget views, and answers that you can use. Like an answer to the question, when is EA going to make Dead Space, Flight Control, Mirror's Edge, Peggle, and The Sims Medieval free on iOS? And that answer, if you happen to be looking today, is today. Take advantage while you can! Not of me, but of the deals. Never take advantage of me. Y you never would, would you? I don't like it when people take advantage of me. But you should absolutely take advantage of every deal that I pass along. This should more than make up for it. Go.tagjag.com slash free points. The link is in this video's description. It's available for both iOS and Android now, and there's no need to install a profile. It's the easiest way to earn points to get free gift cards and free apps that would normally cost you money. I talk about it so frequently because I'm very happy with it. Why wouldn't I want to talk about it? Maybe you're more interested in software for your Mac, in which case I got to tell you about our summer 2013 Mac bundle featuring Parallels Desktop 8 for the Mac. You can get these 10 Mac apps, top Mac apps really, for 90% off. And there are a lot of free Mac apps out there too. It's just that sometimes you'd want to spend money on something worth spending money on, but not pay top dollar. So there you go. Deals that are free and deals that are almost as good as free. How old were you when you first started to computer program? Maybe, maybe you're not a computer programmer, but okay. How old were you when you first programmed something on the computer? I mean, you wrote a computer program or even copied a computer program, you know, from a magazine. Do, do, do you still do that these days, you know, because they'd write out the code in a magazine, you flip through the pages, and then you key things in, and then you learn that there was a typo in the magazine, but only after it took you four days to transcribe it. Okay, maybe I'm from a different generation, but people are certainly getting creative with their kids' programming. Although I must tell you before you click that link in the video's description that the article on LockerGnome.com is really about television programming. Like the Transformers from 1984, Thundercats from 1985, Jem and the Holograms from the 1980s, and she was truly outrageous. If you too were a child of the 80s, did you have a favorite television show? I have so many I remember loving that it's difficult to pick a favorite. Do you find yourself straddling the lines between your economic decisions and being a video game enthusiast? If so, you may be interested in reading Deconstructing Sony's PlayStation Plus service. Maybe it's just me, but I've never been impressed with any kind of service that Sony pushed out to consumers. But PlayStation Plus isn't just about free games. Apparently they've got discounts for other games too. Plus, a subscription is not required. Yet. Is PlayStation Plus worth $50 a year for you? I'd be curious to know. I should also tell you that several PS4 bundles are available for purchase now, too. Go.tagjag.com slash PS4. A judge has finally ruled that Apple fixed prices on ebooks, and the Cupertino giant claims that they did nothing wrong and will appeal. This may not sound like interesting news to you, but I can't believe that you wouldn't want to pay less for ebooks that you're getting today. And ebooks are not going away anytime soon, so wouldn't you rather spend less money on them? Or would you rather spend more for the same words? The right price is ultimately the price that a person's going to pay for a book, whether it's electronic or not. When it comes to buying something you really, 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 really want, well, what does it matter what the price is? You still really, 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 really want it. Google has finally added voice calling to Hangouts and claims that the future of Google Voice is here. Yeah, I kind of wondered what happened to Google Voice. I was expecting more. Or maybe I was expecting more sooner. I'm just glad that Google hasn't abandoned it yet. See, that's the thing. Even if you thought it was successful, Google could kill it. Look what they did to Reader. I'm sorry for getting so close to the camera today. I just realized that I have a pimple, like, right in that general area. Okay, now you're going to rewind and look, I know. Hey, I can't help it. I'm human. And speaking of transparency, an Oklahoma City hospital has posted all their surgery prices online, which has caused a bidding war. And I guarantee that's good news for all. Google has also begun to roll out an updated Google Maps app for Android, and new iOS versions are coming soon. They're also killing off Latitude, which I don't think anybody ever really used all that much, if at all. According to Gartner and IDC, PC shipments have dropped 11% in Q2. That's the longest ever period of decline. So if you have a PC somewhere within arm's reach, you may want to give it a hug because it may not be around for much longer. Hey, I'm not making up these statistics. I'm just saying people aren't buying PCs as much anymore. I can't help it. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you bought a PC? Then again, the answers we receive from this particular community may be biased a little because most of you are geeks. The greater consumer trend seems to be that PCs are yesterday's news. 
And I'm not calling you more or less than the average consumer. It's just that, hey, that's the market. Instagram has finally enabled photo and video embedding. Took them long enough. I don't know. Does anybody still embed photos or videos? Do you guys embed those either? I'm just assuming, and this could be a very bad assumption, that you like sharing the things that I create for you. Following poor sales of its new smartphones, BlackBerry fires its head of U.S. sales. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help them any. If all else fails, blame the sales. Maybe, just maybe, few people are interested in BlackBerry anymore? I know, crazy thought. Steve Ballmer is set to perform a massive restructure at Microsoft this week, but the question is, will it do him any good? One could certainly hope, but only if they eliminate a lot of middle management. Living in the Seattle area, I know many former Microsofties, and they say that there's a massive management problem at Microsoft. Current Microsoft employees, of course, would not dare to comment on the matter either way. I don't care whether or not you like Microsoft, I need them to survive, because I live in the Seattle area, and they're a great part of it. It's the economy, stupid. I'm not calling you stupid directly. I mean, I'm just saying that what we're talking about is a greater economy. We want companies to thrive. Who would want a company to die? Unless, of course, that company is the company that sent me junk mail, which I opened yesterday, not junk email. I gave myself a paper cut. Actually, no, no, no. The envelope gave me a paper cut. Our question of the day is brought to you by Audible. Go.tagjag.com slash Audible. The link is in this video's description. Use that link. You get a 30-day free trial to their service. Over 100,000 audiobooks available, plus one free audiobook download just for you. And this question came courtesy of Swagman T on LockerGnome.net. When is Windows 8.1 going to be final? Currently, the preview build can be installed on Windows 8 PCs, but if you want to wait until it's final, that is, not beta anymore, you may have to wait until about August, according to reports. And that's just a few weeks away. At this point, I would probably tell most of you to wait, even though in my experience, Windows 8.1 is marginally better than Windows 8. The feature set and implementation, while not perfect, seems to have a bit more polish. In Windows 8.1 compared to Windows 8, that is. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that you're going to upgrade to Windows 8.1 from Windows 8 if you happen to be running Windows 8 right now. I could be wrong, and I'm okay with being wrong. I'm, I'm wrong all the time. Just ask Diana. But I hope I'm not wrong with you remembering to comment, like, and share this video as well as the other videos we might do for you on a regular basis. Because without you, I, I, I don't know what I would do. I'm saying that we have this connection, you and, and me, or you and I, and we, we got this thing going on to get... It's, it's getting uncomfortable, isn't it? We'll eat you later.